All right, guys, welcome to another video. The O3 OSD saga continues, but hopefully in the right direction. So I was looking at a couple of things today, and I just want to share them with you because I think it's important. Um, you might want to get yourself something to drink. I got myself a glass of wine. A little bit more wine. And I just wanted to discuss this. So let's have a look. I made a new pull request because the other one was closed. And I realized that there's a bit of a problem. So I updated the DisplayPort MSP BF Compat.c file as well as the BF OSD Symbols.h file. The H.h file is what tells us where the icons are, and the .c file is how we define the compatibility um, when you select uh, Betaflight HD Compat, for example. Now, Mosca has commented and said don't change the values of BF sim entries they are a mirror of beta flight values okay I agree they are it's a fact but is that mirror correct and does it actually align with the O3 font set and to boil it down just to give a little bit of an explanation as well as to why we don't have the fonts that we're looking for. This, let me zoom that out a bit. These are the fonts that iNav is using, okay? And these are the fonts that Betaflight is using. Do you see the difference? It's like half of them, okay? That's problem number one. Problem number two is Betaflight has, if you go into the configurator and under resources and OSD, you'll see that they have two folders. Folder one contains this as the default, right? That's just the default font set. And folder two contains this. If we just make that a bit larger so we can see it. That is number one. Number two. Let me close these two tabs because we don't need them. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Can you see the problem? Wait. Let me put that into perspective. This is what DGI is using. This is number one, and this is number two. The defines list is based on number two. But DGI's OSD is based on number one. So, unfortunately, we can't not touch the Betaflight OSD symbols.h because it's using a later version of the DGI font set. And this one is from a latest version, from the latest version of Betaflight. And those are not the same. Because if you have a look, I mean, just as an example, let me point that out like this. If we look at the on symbol, it matches the on symbol on DGI. Actually, let me change that color. Let's go with a bright green. So that matches that and definitely does not match this. Let's choose blue. 
okay? So, yeah. DJI is using a font set from Betaflight that is, let's have a look, five years old. Five years old is when the new one came out. And so the other one must be older than five years because back then link quality wasn't a thing, right? Or maybe it was, I don't know. The whole point is it needs to be changed, okay? So unfortunately, long story short is we can do whatever we want to do in here and we'll never get it perfect until DJI actually releases um, either an updated font set, which, for example, will have kilometers, so we don't have to use K for kilometers. That would be really nice. Or, and in, and in this case, the pointers are correct. In, in, in that case only, this and this is correct. But otherwise, it's not correct. And so, basically, what I deleted earlier here, I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? So, there is actually no speed symbol. And if we look at the on symbol, it is in the right place after my changes. So I think I think Mosca might have to reconsider this and the INF devs might have to reconsider this in general because it just needs like an overhaul. Um, and then we can have a look at some other stuff as well, hopefully, just to get rid of as many question marks as possible. But um, yeah. Let me know what you think about this. Um, as I've hopefully demonstrated, I'm just trying to sort the whole saga with the O3 air unit out. And it's possible. It's definitely possible. And, you know, maybe DJI will also understand that they're not even using the latest fonts, so they have to really do something about it because the font set that they made the system compatible with when they released the O3 Air unit was a font set that was already outdated because the font set that they're using is older than five years old. And so it's not really compatible. The, the reality is it's not really compatible. I, I don't know exactly how a beta flight is handling this. Like, do they have some way of detecting that it's an O3 air unit that's connected and then it switches to the old font set because on my beta flight quads I don't have a problem um it it's showing me everything that I'm you know it's not making any mistakes but it's also not correct when you look at the code so there must be something going on I don't know I'm not I'm not an expert all I know is that I think I found something that is relevant and is worth giving a little bit of attention to. So, yeah. Um, I hope this video was useful to some of you and I hope that um, we can make it work with what we've got because, um, I mean, it looks like that's just all we'll get because this is basically the same font set that was used on the V1 goggles and V2 goggles. So they, they haven't really made any changes. They've just given more rectangles to play around with, right? So it's not the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, it's like 16 by 9 but not the full canvas mode, not the full I don't know what the resolution is, like the maximum height and width but it's not the maximum. So, you know, the, the reality is that the only thing that was changed in the O3 system is just the height and the width. So it's not a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and that's it. And that's a bit shit, to say the least. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do. That's that's all I'm going to say, okay? Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can change. Is there something we can change? Is there something we can update? Is there something we can improve on? Would be nice if we can. I'm sure 
a lot of people would be happy about those changes. But yeah, anyway, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.